Hello, my name is Holly Mosher and I'm the director of Bonsai People, the vision of Muhammad Yunus. I decided to make this film when I read the New York Times article that Dr. Yunus had been given the Nobel Peace Prize and I was fascinated because why had an economist gotten the Peace Prize? And also it said that he was helping 6.5 million women in Bangladesh and I realized that that was one out of every thousand people on earth. So I decided immediately that I had to go to Bangladesh and see for myself what he was doing. Well, I, at first I did a research trip for one week and saw everything that Eunice was doing with the bank. But it was then that I discovered that he had all these other companies from healthcare, alternative energies, education, and then even yogurt. So I decided I, have a different, I had a different film to make. I was not going to just follow the microcredit. I was also going to look at all these other social businesses. And I spent two years going back and forth to Bangladesh and into the villages all over, uh, seeing a new bank branch opening up, to see how it changed the lives of the women. So did you get any help from the government to doing this? Uh, the only help from the government I had was uh, having a government worker come with me to protect my safety. So I had a gentleman, Mozam El Hawk, always come with us. And uh, what about uh, Dr. Yunus? Dr. Yunus I got to interview two times, so I spent two hours with him. He was very busy, so it took many months before I got my first interview because he was always traveling out of the country speaking but I finally got two hours with him. What was your focus to show these things? What part do you show, Wendy? Um, like education, you yeah, just yeah. mentioned all this. Yeah, things. the focus of the film is first microcredit. I yeah. followed five new borrowers. Then I uh, did Grameen Danon, I did Grameen Shika, I did Grameen Green Children Eye Care Hospital, I did Grameen Kalyan, and I did Grameen Phone. And I also looked at Grammy Check, his clothing company. And so who helping you to build, uh, make this film? We had a very small team. It was mostly me. You can see on the, on the back, uh, this is me filming with camera and sound. Uh, so I'm mostly a one-person team. On a couple of days, I had the very talented Rashad Zaman uh, helping to shoot. But he was so busy with commercials that he only came for two days. And then um, just constantly going back and forth to Bangladesh. I was learning some Bangla, and I had a very, really nice time in Bangladesh. And um, what do you think after uh, you made it? Uh, what can be input to this in the society? I'm very happy because it's inspiring people to know more about social business and to know how good microcredit works. You know, there's many replication programs now around the world, but not all of them are created equal. And I really think the way Dr. Yunus's program is structured is very solid. And bringing the women together each week is very important. Just having tiny payments each week is also, it seemed very manageable for everybody. So I was very inspired and people in the U.S. are inspired and they want to see it happen here too. So I think these ideas are spreading around the world. In fact, I screened in Vienna and people loved the film. Yeah, in fact, last year there has been this whole controversy between the government and Dr. Yunus and I found it very shocking and sad because I spent over two years following his work and seeing how it helped most people. And even the government study showed that the Grameen Bank has the lowest interest rate of, of any of the microcredit programs in Bangladesh. So it's very disheartening to see that this is at, at risk. And I really hope that the government has a change of heart and he's appealing his hearing now and I really hope they consider putting him back. My name is Holly Mosher and I'm the director of Bonsai People, the vision of Muhammad Yunus. I spent two years in Bangladesh making this film. Okay, when you make this uh, documentary, that uh, who uh, sponsored you? Uh, at first I was just paying for my own trips and then I got a grant from the Ceres Trust. And then in the last year of the project, I did an online fund crowdsourcing fundraising and I raised 50,000 additional dollars. How long? How much? 50,000 online and I got a grant for 150,000. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I chose to call this Bonsai People because I was deeply moved by a saying that Dr. Yunus has where he said, 
Poor people are just bonsai people. They have the full potential to be a big, beautiful tree, but their roots have been potted. Okay, so Bonsai People is screening this week in New York and LA for in the theaters, and then in March it will be on PBS World on television. Hi, oh, my name is Yvonne. I'm a, a friend of Holly Mosher, the filmmaker of Bonsai People. Um, I, I, I think it's uh, miraculous. It was a tremendous amount of hard work and um, dedication for probably over five years to make this film. Um, I believe in the, the micro-credit and the contribution it can make to, to the world and economy and developing economies and countries. Um, I think it's a great story um, and I wish her and it the best success. Her movie will impact in the, in the world? Yeah, I, I, I think microcredit will absolutely, and along with Muhammad Yunus and, and Holly's portrayal and telling the story, getting the story out there so that the word can spread and the movement can grow. Thank you. Okay. I'm originally from Milwaukee, and then I went to film school at NYU in New York, and I've been in Los Angeles for 10 years now. Hi, hey. how are you? Awesome. I'm gonna go inside. Okay. I'm in Los Angeles, take a mobile back to Hollywood, take a ball check in it, Lancashire. Ask him on the Shamne, opposite region, Bangladesh, Ekjun Amade Kanke, Prabashi. Jini American action film maker, I think American character producer, I think cameraman, only Bangladesh, officer, unit group, for it, a movie producer, Bansai, look at the Jenne, ask camera, Amatshan or co producer, opposite to Achen, I think Shoti, Amat Gorbu Bishaje, Holly, she is from California. This is very proud, we are very proud because we are from California, and this is our co producer also here, and I would like to thank you. Uh, both of you, it's a great job, it's good for our country, and we are really happy. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. My name, my name is Branislav Georgievsky. I'm the co-producer of Banzai People Movie, and uh, I think that uh, Professor Yunus has a tremendous impact on the mentality and the way of thinking about the business models in the world, and uh, by lending. Um, uh, these loans to uh, so many millions of women. Uh, he has proven that the micro lending system can really work and can really take one uh, society from one level uh, to a totally different, higher level of uh, existence and um, take a lot of families out of poverty uh, in a very short period of time and uh, with a tremendous success. Um, so I think that the message that Professor Yunus in this, this, this movie uh, is trying to get across, across the world, is that this micro-lending system can work in any kind of society, in any kind of environment, and in any kind of class. And packing them all into the state of New York. Bangladesh gained its independence from Pakistan fairly recently. About the impact it makes on poor people. Their textbook talks about create jobs, invest in big industries, and that's the road to employment. I said that's the best way to get to development, because you are um... I see how much knowledge is not really relevant for my work and how about the knowledge that's in the village I never knew anything about. So I was wondering what is this difference between the things that I got through my textbook, through my lectures and so on.